week, I'm going to be looking at indices and multiplying and dividing indices. Now, for so those of you who've watched my channel before, you're probably aware that we've done indices before. But this time, this is a bit more of a foolproof method and you can use it for all kinds of multiplying and dividing with indices. So what I've got is a five step guide here and I'm going to show you how this works. So I'll start with these four examples and then I'm going to go into more difficult ones after this. The first step says, if the letter is no coefficient, write in a number one. So I'll start with this one here. So as it happens, both of these letters have coefficients. I should say that it's 3x times 7x to the power of 5. That's what we're being asked to do. So I don't need to write in a coefficient. The next step says, if the letter is no power, write in a 1. So this one doesn't have a power, so I'll write in a 1. Then it says multiply or divide the coefficients. So because it's a multiplication, we just multiply those coefficients. So it's 3 times 7, which is 21. It says to then write down the letter, so the letter's x, and then it says add or subtract the powers. So if it's multiplying, you add the powers. If it's dividing, you subtract. In this instance, we add, so it's just 21x to the power of 6. I'm going to try the next one. So if the letter has no coefficient, write in a 1. So we've got x times 4x to the negative 3. There's no coefficient there. So I'm going to write in a number 1. It says if the letter has no power, write in a 1. So I'll put a 1 in there. So it would, it would apply to either of those. If either of those didn't have a coefficient or a power, you'd have to write in a 1. You multiply or divide the, the coefficients. So we're multiplying. Um, so it's 1 times 4, which is 4. Then it says write down the letter, which is x. And we're adding the powers, so we've got 1, add negative 3, which is negative 2. So these are quite straightforward examples. I'll go on to the next one. Now this next one's a divide, so I'm just showing you that it applies for dividing just as well as multiplying. So if the letter has no coefficient, write in a 1. So both of these have coefficients. If the letter has no power, we write in a 1, so we give it power. So this time it's dividing, so we divide the coefficients. So it's 10 divided by 5, which is 2. You write down the letter, which is x, and you add or subtract the powers. So because it's dividing, we subtract. So it's negative 2 taken with 1, which is negative 3. We'll use our next example of this part. So the letter does have a coefficient here. But it doesn't here, so I'll write in a number 1. If the letter has no power, write in a 1. So it doesn't have a power. And then we just go through the same way. We multiply the coefficients together. 5 times 1 is 5. Write down the letter, which is x. And then add or subtract the powers. So because it's multiplying, we add the powers. And we get 5x to the power of Five. Now what I'm going to do is show you some examples with fractions. Okay, so this part, we're now looking at some examples where we've got fractions in them. So exactly the same rules, but we're going to add a little bit on the end. I'm going to start with this one here. So it says, if the letter has no coefficient, write in a 1, which we do. If the letter has no power, write in a 1. They both have powers. So we multiply, because it's a, a times n, we multiply the coefficient. So 1 times 4 is 4. Then we write down the letter, which is x. And because it's multiplying, we're adding the powers. So we've got 2 thirds add 5. Now, if some of you remember, a video, my second video ever done was about adding and subtracting fractions. So this is what you would actually do here. We're doing two thirds add five. So if you've got two over three and you want to add, I would write it as five over one. So if it's a whole number in a fraction, write the whole number as the number over one. And the method I used was the boot method. So this is the second video if you want to refer back. So you do everything there times by one. 
So that just becomes 2 over 3. And then everything here, if you put the boot on the other foot, everything here times by the, the 3. So that becomes 15 over 3. And basically that's going to be, altogether that's going to become 17 over 3. And that is what the power is. So 17. So this bit here is what the power is. Go do the next example. I'll just rub a little bit of this out. So the next one here, we do the same thing. So if the letter is no coefficient, we write in a 1. So this letter doesn't have a coefficient, so we write in the 1. Um, if the letter has no powers, we write in a 1. These both have powers. Multiply the coefficients, so 6 times 1 is 6. Then it says write down the letter, which is x. And then this time again we're adding the powers, because that's the next step, add the powers. But we have to do it like the fractions, like we just done. So it's negative a half, add, and the 3 in its own becomes 3 over 1. And when we do the boot method, the left one's going to stay as negative 1 over 2. The right one is going to become 6 over 2, because you times them both by the total. And when you add them together, you get positive 5 over 2. And that's what the power is here. So if anyone's struggling with this part, it's the second video that i ever done. So that's that answer. And that's that answer there. The next one we've got is 12x and this time it's dividing so it's just shown that it applies for both multiplying and dividing we've got 12x divided by 4x to the power of 2 over 3 the letters both have coefficients so we don't need to worry about that this one so if the letter has no power we write in a 1 so we do that we multiply or divide the coefficients so we divide so it's 12 divided by 4 it's 3 we write down the letter, which is x, and then because it's divide, we're subtracting the powers. Now some of these you could probably do without doing this part, a lot of people would manage to do this without, but 1 on its own just becomes 1 over 1, take away 2 over 3, everything there by 3 becomes 3 over 3, everything on the other side by 1, 2 over 3, and that just becomes 1 over 3. So the power here is 1 over 3, and that's the second one. Third one, sorry. I will go on to the fourth example. So if there's no coefficient, write in a 1, so there's not a coefficient here. If the letter has no power, we write in the 1, we put it here. You multiply the coefficients because this is a multiplication. So 7 times 1 is 7. You write down the letter, which is x, and because it's multiplying, we're adding the powers. So we've got 1 add negative a third. Again, some of you might be able to do that without doing any calculation, but I'll just go through this part. So it's 1 add negative a third. We can times all that. This will, we'll write this over 1. Uh, multiply all that by 3. 3 over 3. Plus, or should can just say take away, and then all that by the 1, 1 over 3, which just becomes 2 over 3 when you subtract them. And that's that example there. I'm going to do a couple more examples for you, slightly more difficult ones. Okay, so this time I've got three more difficult examples. I'm going to try now. These are the types of questions you could see in exams. So I'll start with this one here. So this one here is you're multiplying out brackets. So you should have done that at some point anyway. So the first thing we say is if the letter has no coefficient, write in a 1. So we'll look at all three terms. And if any of them doesn't have, don't have a coefficient, we would write in a 1. So we would do that in here. If the letter has no power, write in a 1. So if there's any letter without a power, we write that in. Then we multiply or divide the coefficients, so we're multiplying. So we've got 2 times 1, so we're just multiplying this by this first and then that by that. So as, as I said before, you should have done this anyway at some point. So we 
multiply the coefficients together. So 2 times 1 gives me 2. Then we write down the letter, which is x. And then we're adding the powers together. So we've got 1 and we're adding negative a half. So what we said was it would be 1 over 1, take away a half. Again, this is probably one you can do without thinking about it. It's going to become 2 over 2, take away 1 over 2, which is just a half. So that power just becomes positive a half. You can see that. Then we've got plus, and again, we've got these two, but everything's set up. So all we need to do is multiply the coefficients together. So we get 6. Then you write down the letter, which is x, and then you add the powers. So we've got 1, add 5, and there's no fractions in this part. There's just 1 add 5, which is 6. So that's our first one done there. Now I'm going to go and let's have a look. So that's the first one. I'll try this one here this time. And I should note that if it's a square root, the power is a half, for those of you who don't know that. So this power would actually become a half. If the letter is no coefficient right in a 1, well it actually has got the 3. I'll just move the 3 over. This one doesn't, so we'll write in oops, a number 1 there. If the letter has no power, write in a 1. So this letter doesn't have a power, I write in the 1. So again, we're doing this, this part times this part, the first two times together. Multiply the coefficients, so it's 3 times 1, which is 3. Then you write down the letter, which is x, and then we're adding the powers. So this time we've got a half add negative 4. So this time, again, I'll do the, the, the boot method. So we had a half. We'll just say it's like take away 4. And uh, what we'll do with that is if it's a number on its own, it's not a fraction, write it over 1. So I'll do the boot method like that. So everything there are times in by 1, so it just stays the same. And then everything on that side times by 2, because it times by the total. So it's 8 over 2. And 1 take away 8 is negative 7. Negative 7 over 2. So this power is going to be negative 7 over 2. The next part here should be quite easy. We've got plus. We just multiply the coefficients together. So we get 15. 3 times 5 is 15. And then we've got the, write down the letters, which is x. And actually, I should say, we've got a half and one. We'll just go through the same process. So if we've got a half and we're adding on one, it just becomes one over one. And we can do the boot method. So that just, because we're just timesing it by one, it stays the same. We times all that by two, becomes two over two becomes 3 over 2. So that power there becomes 3 over 2. So that's our final answer. It's 3x to the negative 7 over 2. Add 15x to the power of 3 over 2. And that's this one here. And I'll do this last one over here and we'll do it wherever we can get space. So the first thing it says is if the letter has no coefficient right in a 1. Well actually all of the letters have a coefficient. If the letter has no power, we write in a 1. So this is a 1 here. In this example, we've actually got multiplying and dividing going on. But the best thing to do is deal with the top line first of all. So you have to multiply the coefficients together first of all. So 7 times 4 is 28. Then you write down the letter. So that's the next step, is x. And then we've got to go 2 thirds add negative a third. Uh, negative 3. So I'll just do this over here. So we've got 2 thirds, basically take away 3, which I'll put over 1. Do the boot method again. So that just stays as 2 over 3. It becomes take away and it'll be 9 over 3. Which becomes 
negative 7 over 3. So it becomes 20x to the negative 7 over 3. And then on the bottom we have 2x to the power of 1. And this time this is dividing. So we've got, if there's coefficients for each, there's powers for each. So we have to multiply or divide the coefficients. So in this instance we're dividing. So it's 28 divided by 2, which is 14. I'll write that down. And then we write down the letter, which is x. And then what we've got to do is we've got negative 7 over 3 take away 1. So it's like negative 7 over 3. Oh, let me just write this out. Negative 7 over 3 take away and it'll be 1 over 1. So that's going to become negative 7 over 3. That will just stay the same because you're multiplying by 1. Negative 7 over 3 take away and then it'll become 3 over 3. So negative 7 take away 3 is negative 10 over 3. So the power here becomes negative 10 over 3. And that's your final answer. Would please like, please subscribe, please feel free to suggest any other maths videos that you'd like to see in this channel. See you in the next video. Bye!